Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the camper. This is our anniversary. My wife and I have been together, married for 11 years. I think a total of 16 all together. We've got ourselves an anniversary present. We're going to replace this sofa. Our camper is a 2014 Springdale, and this is uh, one of their pleather sofas that they put in it. And shortly after we bought it, I would say probably six months to a year after we uh, had it, and of course, mind you, it was weekend use only, this happened. The uh, pleather separated from the, the actual material used to uh, cover this thing. And of course, no recalls were done. And when we were uh, love seat shopping to replace this thing, we saw another on Amazon that was done with a pleather material, and there was already photographs of this of their sofa flaking off. So we wanted to get completely away from this crap. That's a lot of money to invest in something, and they give you this garbage. Anyhow, it's not any big deal. We're gonna disassemble this and I come loaded with YouTube knowledge folks I found a video on how to how to take this sofa apart and uh, when I get home and go to search and I'll, I'll give some acknowledgement to the guy because he's got a, a small channel like mine where he's trying to grow it as well uh, even in spite of uh, the uh, YouTube staff Anyhow, we're going to get to work on this. Uh, I had ordered a tripod, so I, was, I wanted to set a tripod up to kind of video this as I was taking it apart. But of course, uh, I guess they lost, Amazon lost the order between Tulsa and Oklahoma City, so I ended up canceling it because I don't want, I don't want a package sitting on my porch. So anyway, yeah, the more, uh, when it rains it pours, I guess, but we're, we're good. We're going to get this, uh, I'll probably uh, see if my wife will be kind enough to hold the camera as we're doing this, and, and uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, stay tuned. All right, man, just like that guy showed on his, so this is a similar sofa. You've got a, uh, you've got a pin right there, and a cotter pin over on this side for this, for the, uh, the actual seat cushion. You pull the pins and it should slide one way and then off the other. But what he was showing, there's a pin here and another one on this side. Now, he was not able to move this side to side to uh, take the bottom out of it. So he had to pull it uh, and unbolt it from the, the uh, camper. So this is what we're fixing to do next. I'm going to pop those pins and uh, see if I can get those out. And then uh, kind of bit and piece you back, back to like I said, I, I don't have a, I thought I had a tripod set up in my uh, little GoPro kit, but I borrowed pieces from it, so we're we're done with that idea. So anyway, stay tuned, and we'll get this pulled out. And uh, uh, yeah, losing my train of thought because I'm th thinking ahead. Anyway, stay tuned, guys. All right, man, we got the the top. Uh, the uh, extension section out but we had unlike that other guy in that video we had to bend them tabs to get it off of there and uh, probably the same with this if we decide to go that route or, or uh, not sure got to figure out how they got it bolted in so we're kind of going at this blind this I think would I don't know if it pulled, all right, that laid down, so it's just a matter of figuring it out, figuring out how they have it attached, and uh, taking it loose, so, all right, so, and he's, he's, he said his only came apart in two sections, so it may be the same scenario here, and then we'll have to turn it on its side and carry it out, but yeah, like I said, we had to take and bend those tabs with a crowbar and I'm glad I had a crowbar. Alright, we're gonna get back to work. Alright now that section went out real easy. There wasn't a whole lot, you know, 
whole lot of prying. And it looks like the way this thing's moving about, I think it's only held in there by two screws. But I'll try that and see and try not to destroy. Hell, this may have been put in here at a later time. I do know, I do know this about this camper. Uh, when we bought it, it didn't have the original TV in it. And the original bracket was 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 out of it and I think the door had been replaced because it, it may have been broke into is what I'm what I'm getting at but uh yeah I think that's that's what the deal was and so they may have damaged the damaged the couch or so who knows I mean it matches but anyway all right I'm gonna take them two screws out and uh, we're gonna get rid of this uh, sofa. We're almost there. All right, now she's sweeping up the hole. It's come out there easy, but from what I'm seeing, they only had two screws that held that frame down in there, so it made it easy to get out. Now, the question is, can we get this Ashley love seat in here? It's a uh, double recliner and the backs are removable and we should be able to get it through there my uh, recliner here might be in the way and then uh, one of these recliners will be taken apart and taken over to mom's trailer because she was wanting a smaller smaller recliner and I get it but there's the the heap of old sofa so it went out it went out easy real easy of course I did sink a staple into my finger so you can call me uh, one of the Baird brothers. He's always wounding himself in every one of his videos and stuff. So anyhow, stay tuned. Okay, quick update. While the fat boy tries to get his breath back, there's the base of the new love seat. And it looks like it'll go on up in the little cubby hole. Whoo! The struggle of two old fat people. <laughs> Anyhow, it's in. And uh, we're fixing to put the back on it. The back's in two pieces. And then there's two arms or something that was separate. I don't know what the hell that goes to, but we'll figure that out. But uh, yeah, I'm going to die. But we'll have a nice sofa and a lot of <laughs> shit in the yard. Okay. Stay tuned, guys, and we'll we'll show you the finished product here in a minute. Well, I'm not sure if I uh, made another video segment or not, but there there's the love seat in place. It uh, was <coughs> excuse me. The wrestling match was just getting it up the steps and through that narrow door, but thankfully it uh, came in it came in four pieces. Uh, the backs were separate, and then there's some side pieces for each back that went on and then my wife threw that uh, blanket over the top of it but uh, it works great it's almost like a zero clearance recliner that they put in an RV she's pulling that off there now so you can have a look at it and, but uh, we're gonna have to go to the grocery store or Walmart or someplace and get one of them sticky rollers to it's got some like grass or something that got on there and, and um, <coughs> excuse me dust from blowing around outside but now I gotta go out and clean the cardboard up buddy of mine's son wants the sofa that came out of it so he can have it that way I don't have to deal with it but there it is there's, there it is yep there it is happy anniversary to us and uh, on for a three day weekend of adventure out here so we'll keep you we'll keep you uh We'll keep you involved. Stay tuned and uh, see you shortly.